Hi, I'm George, and I wanted to talk to you about FlexClip, which is a very easy to use online video editor with loads of templates, video clips, music, and a lot more. Let's take a look down through this real quick on this first page here. Notice you can make by templates, or you can even upload your own video clips and content and build that way. Scroll down here. You can edit for free. You can sign up for a free account. And you can do a lot with that free account. There are also monthly and annual subscriptions with even more capabilities. Over a thousand templates you can use here, animated content, over a million stock video assets. Again, loads and loads of stuff. Let's take a real fast look here at some of these samples on these templates. Just hover your cursor for a second. There you go. And you get a little sample of what that template looks like. So it's very easy to go through and choose your template. Animated options in here, titles, other animations. Again, lots of stock media, including stock video and stock photographs. Very, very easy to use, as you can see right over here. The best way, though, is to see how this works is to go ahead and use the editor, and let's see what that can do for us. I'll log into my account, and let's see how to use the editor. There we go. And the first thing I want to do is to choose a template. Let's say I wanted to do something for my YouTube channel. Go up here to social media, and then here's one for YouTube right here. You can get a quick view of it, just a few of the templates over here. Click on that button, you can see everything. Now, one thing I recommend is if you scroll, scroll over here on the right-hand side of your screen. If you're scrolling in the middle, you get that preview and the music for your preview. So scroll outside over here. You can use the wheel on your mouse and just scroll down like that. When you see a template that looks interesting, just roll over that. There you go, and you get that preview. Or even easier, if you know basically what you want to do, you can go ahead and just type in a search up here. I'm going to type in gaming, hit the enter key, and take a look at different videos in here for gaming. For instance, here's a gaming podcast, how to start a gaming podcast. Let's just take a fast look at that. Looks pretty good. You can preview this, just a larger preview screen. And then when you want to go ahead and work on this one, click on customize right here, or you can just go right to customize which is right there. Let's go ahead and do this one. There we go, and that loads it into the editor with pre-installed clips, some effects, some text, and so forth. Right at the bottom down here, you have your video clips. If you click on the middle one, there we go, a little bit of text. You can play this if you want to, click on the play button right here, and that's how that one looks. Now, the length of the video is right down below there. These are five seconds, there's a four second and a four second. That's our basic video length. Right here, you can add in transitions. We'll play with that in just a bit. Left-hand side, you have all of your content over here. Notice you can choose stock media, or you can upload local content. So if you have your own video, you can go ahead and upload that right here, or you can even record right from the screen or record from your webcam. So you can bring in content any way you want. I want to change just a couple of these things in here. This image right here, this screen, it has a big gun in there, and this one has a big gun as well. We're going to replace those two clips. So let's go here to Stock Media, and I'll do a search in here. Same thing, I'm just going to search for Gaming. Maybe just Gameplay, that's a pretty good one. And let's see what we get on our Gameplay. And then just find a video which has kind of the feel that you want. This is just kind of a general video, so this works out right here. It's 14 seconds long, which is fine. Click on that. If you like how this looks, just click on Add to Media Library. Okay, let's now do another one. Something that has a bit more action to it. Let's see, that's not too good. Let's try this one right here. That's pretty good. There's some color happening in here. We'll take that one as well. And we'll add that to our media library. Okay, now we can close this window out right there. X button, click on that. That closes down. We have two things in here in our media library. Now looking down below, I think this one's okay. I think that looks okay. This one doesn't really fit in with those that much. It's not really exactly what I want right here. So let's find a different picture for this. Go back up to our stock media, and this time, let's we'll do a search for a microphone. There we go, a few options in here. You also can narrow down your search by most relevant. Here's the most downloaded. Let's take a look at that one. Not too bad. Let's see what we have here on highest rated. That's okay. And then we have most recent, and also trending now. Let's go back up just one step here, most recent. Looks pretty good right here. It's kind of a nice color scheme. I have my purples and my blues in here that I'm looking for with my other videos. So it should match out pretty well. So let's go ahead and we'll choose that one. Add that to our media library. There we go. And then close that window down there. So now I have three new videos. Now this shows you how easy it is to edit these videos. I'm just going to take this first video here. And I'm just going to drag it over like that and let go. At this point we can trim the video to any length you want. Right now as you can see over here it's 13 seconds long. I'm just going to grab the slider on the right hand side. I'll pull this down until it says five seconds, actually four seconds. That's what our previous video was. There we go, four seconds. Choose trim video. It then loads that in at that same duration. 
Now, if you want to go back in the future and change the length of that video clip, easy to do is come down here, click on that little trim video button right here, and you're back into this window, and we can then adjust that trim length right there. So go ahead and we'll just make this five seconds and trim video. So that easy to do. Okay, we'll keep this one. I think that's all right. Let's put our new microphone video in here. So let's grab that one, drag it over, drop that in. Again, that one is four seconds long. So I'll grab the slider on the right hand side. Let's just pull this back until we get down to that four seconds, which is right about there. Looks pretty good. And trim video. And this one I wanted to change this screen, and that's what that shot was for. Let's pull this one in. Same thing. And again, that one is a five second clip. So let's pull this one down until we get down to that five second duration, which is right there. Trim video. And there we go. Okay, at this point, let's see how this looks. Let's play the whole thing now. Go over here, left hand corner, click on that play button. And let's play the whole video, including the text effects in here. And the first effect, that is an overlay. This one is a text box. We'll see how that works in just a bit. So our video, we have our music. Everything's nicely synchronized. That looks pretty good. You know, our next one here. And then we have one more clip coming in, just a second. There it is, that's from the original template. And that looks fine. And I'll just close that preview window down. Okay, the last thing I want to have here is just one more video clip. And we'll use that to put an outro logo spot over at the end of this. Let's go back up here to our stock media. And let's go back and do a search here for gameplay. And I just want just kind of a generic gameplay video here. Nothing really special. Let's see what this one looks like. I don't want that much movement here because we'll have a logo on top. And I think this one will work out just fine. Add that to our media library. Again, close that window down. Notice down here we have a button. We can add local media, add stock media, add a background. We'll do add stock media. That's the one I want. And again, we'll just put this at five seconds. For now, we could change this if we want to. There's five seconds. Choose use video. And there we go. Now it's at the wrong spot here. So I'm going to just drag this and pull it over here like that. So you can reorder your sequence that easily. Just drag and drop. That's one of the nice things about this video editor. Let's now take a look at some of our other options. Left hand side. We have text, overlays, elements, which are basically stickers you can put on top, plus some other fancy stuff. Background changes. Here's your music. You can add a watermark. And right here it says more. You can also set this up for the proper ratio. What would be going here for the standard computer screen on YouTube? So 16 by 9 is correct for that. Okay, start off here with the text. And as you can see here, we have some basic text up here. And then we have dynamic text. Again, roll over and you'll see a little quick preview of how that works right there. Scroll down for even more options. Now, once you have one selected, you can come up here and make some adjustments right across the top here. Let's go here to the second window. Here's this text box. Just click on that. You can see that it's now been selected. At this point, I can change the size just by dragging a corner right there. You can rotate by clicking on this and then rotating it around so you can do all that stuff. If you want to undo this, the easy way is just to use the Control Z keyboard shortcut. That just undoes the last step that you did. Now to change this, click on it to select it. Then go over here, left hand side, and click one of these options. And it comes in and makes that change. Here's this bounce off one. You see how it actually previews it as well as soon as you click on that. Some of these will work out well, some won't. Depends upon what your background is. In this case, I want to have that box behind it. That's the one that we're actually using right now is that highlight. Let's find something just different. Maybe we'll do the roll up one. Go to the side there, that's good. Okay, now, once you have that basic look, go up to the top here. You can change your font right here. There are loads and loads of different typeface options to choose from. Try this one. That's okay. So the choice of the font will make a difference on how it looks on your screen. So you want to try a few of these. I tend to like thicker fonts just because they're a bit easier to read on a background. Let's go ahead and we'll use that one right there. Okay, up here, we can change our color scheme. Right now, it is this one, white and red. There's a cyan, there's a darker blue. Let's go ahead and we'll use this color scheme right there. You can then apply this to all your storyboards. Click on that, and then everything will become that blue, saving you a lot of time in the future. We can also go for bold text, italic, if it's available, size of your text, and the alignment left and right. And we can edit the text, just click on that edit button. You can then type in whatever text you want right there. Okay, that's all set. Let's go here to our next option. Again, this is now using the same coloration. Click on this. I'm gonna change the typeface here. We're going to the alternates right there. That's fine. I'll just go through and do that one change here. Click on your text and let's change that typeface right there. We have one more of those. Click on the text and then change that typeface. Okay, that's all caught up. Now the first one here, this has some text, but it's not using one of these text boxes. This one is actually using an overlay right over here. Now to see everything, just click on see all. We can then see all the overlays. This happens to be this one right down there. If I play this, you see how that action kind of pops up like that. There it is. And you can see that right here from that rollover effect. 
So that's the one that we're using here as an overlay. So there are overlays with text as well as the text options that we just previously looked at. Now to change these, same thing. Click on it, go over here and choose a different option and it does that move for you. Now it can change the color in here. Use our document colors. There's a red, this was the default. We'll go for that blue that we're using. And there we go. Now let's go back to our overlay setup here. We have overlays for decoration. Let's take a fast look at these. We won't be using any of these things, but there are some of these interesting effects in here. It's kind of fun little things will overlay right on top of your screen. And then there's also overlay down here for intro and outro. And I wanted to have an outro for us. So let's go down here to our final screen. That's this one. And let's see how these outros look. Here's a basic logo outro right there. Just one with everything to the side. That's okay. That's not too bad. So easy to go through here. Just kind of click on these to see what comes up. And let's just finish off our fast look. And I think I'll go with this one right there with the Let's Connect. That works out well, I think, for YouTube. And then just put your logo right there. Now to change the logo, click on that. We can then upload your logo right here. And then just drops it into that spot. Now I want to change my color scheme down here. Back up here and let's choose that blue again. And it now has a matching color scheme for the rest of everything else. Okay, we've done our video. We've done our text effects. We've done our overlays. We have our outro in place. Let's just go down and look at everything else down over here. We have some elements in here. These are basically stickers you can place right on top of your image if you want to. Each one of these lines has additional stickers, just lots of stuff. So if you want to just add in a bit more interest, point things out, this is the arrows, click on the back button right there. Social media buttons, shape buttons, arrow, birthday, promo, pull the slider down. And to see the whole collection in any of these sections, just click on that see all right there and it opens it up in that one section. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. You can put in just plain backgrounds if you want to. Now, so these are video backgrounds. You can also just do standard stock backgrounds that don't change. So you have solid backgrounds, video backgrounds. Here's some texture backgrounds, lots of options on backgrounds. Now in the music, let's go here to the music section right there. This is what came with the video template and I think it's just fine, I'll leave that. But if you wanna use your own music, you can load it up right here or if you want to search through their music library, you can access that right here, stock music, and then do a search. There's lots of moods, genres in here, and different categories, and just take a look through there to find the music track that you want to use. Let's just go ahead and we'll close that one down. There we go. And if you want to, you can add in a watermark onto your video as well right here, either a text watermark, or you can place an image watermark and just upload that from your computer. Okay, there we go. That's how easy it is to edit one of these things together. Let's go ahead now and play this whole thing through again. Click on the play button. We're just kind of getting a feel right now for the pacing of this. If anything seems a bit longer, a bit short, you can then go back and adjust the pacing. I think I'm going to make that first screen a little bit shorter because you're not doing that much movement in that first screen. We'll just finish off the last logo screen. All looking real nice, music sounds good. And there we go, there's our final thing on our logo would be right there. Okay, looks fine, just one little adjustment and that's on this screen here. Let's try something different in here. I think I'll work with the transitions. And that's right here, a little kind of a funny little line right there. Click on that and that brings up our transitions in here. And there are a lot of options, wipes, fades, zooms, blur, mosaic, presentation, lines, warp, and stylize. This here's our wipe left. I'm not touching anything, I'm just rolling the mouse right over like that and you can see what that looks like. Let's try that one, choose apply, and let's see how this works. Click the play button again. Okay, there we go. And we should see that, that wipe coming in in a second. There it is, there's that wipe right there. So it's that easy to come in and make these transitions as well. If you don't like that, you can click on delete transition or you can edit that to find a different transition. Let's just see what else we have in here. It's kind of fun. Let's take a look at Mosaic. I think these might be nice just because it's a bit more game-like. Let's try that square thing right now and apply that. And let's check this. That's fine. Then we have our effect coming in right there. That's fun. I like that. So easy to put in those transitions. Let's just go ahead and match that transition here. We had the Mosaic and that was that one right there. Now we just did just a basic video here using just the basic setup, but you can take this even further. Notice up here across the top here, we have volume control. We can zoom in on this, fit or fill, apply to all of our backgrounds. We wanted to zoom on that. We can do some transformations in here, rotates, left, right, flip, horizontal, vertical. You can even add in different filter effects 
or you can come in and adjust exposure, contrast, brightness, temperature, the tint, which is your color balancing here with those two, highlight shadows, or even adding in a vignette. So there's a lot that you can do in here to really fine tune the look of your video, make everything work perfectly together. If anything, this one screen here, this one bit of video here, is not quite as blue as anything else. So this one might be nice to do just a little bit of a temperature change here, make it a little more blue, just to bring it in a little closer to the overall feel of the other clips on this, just a bit more blue that way. It would then blend in better as it was going between the different video clips. Now, when you're happy with your video and everything is all set up the way you want it, you can preview up here on the preview button, or let's go right to export. Click on this, choose your output resolution, click on next. And it's gonna preview that again for you right here. Now we didn't do an intro, so there's no intro right here. You can give this a name. I'll just call it gaming video and record it by me and then click on export. It then goes through and processes that video and gets ready to save it. And I'll bring this back up in just a second as soon as it has gotten to that point. There we go and the export has been finished for the video and it's popped up a window right here, right under my hard drive and it named it the name of my video and then it's also added in made with flex clip. Of course you can change that name right here if you want to, but this is fine. I already have a folder here for flex clip I'll click on save, and that's now saved onto my hard drive. At this point, I can also go back to editing, or I can go to Dropbox with this, or right to YouTube with this. I'll just go back here to editing, or just click on the X right there to close that, and you're right back on the editing screen. It's a very easy to use program, easy to edit as you saw. It took us just a few minutes here to go through and do a lot of different, very fancy editing tricks very easy and very quickly. Has a real nice large media library and of course the ability to upload your own files or even record right from your screen or from a webcam. So getting content, nothing to it. And this online video editing app really has just about everything you need for all of your standard video editing needs. Again, very easy to use, very fast, very quick to learn and highly recommended. And if you enjoyed this video review, don't forget to hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.